the Lord spoke to me about the third year that we're entering into and the end of the two years that we're in now. And I asked the Lord, what are we entering into? And I had two words, experience upon experience. An experience is an actual occasion that happens in the knowledge of an individual to whom it happens to. Certain things are going to come and override even your revelation of what you think is to a point where something new is formed up in your life and you develop another theory. We are in a very sensitive season as a country, very sensitive season as a body of Christ, and therein are the timings of the Spirit for the next move of purpose. But that purpose is going to come with particular experiences. In 2016, God flourished his love on us and everything he spoke came to pass. In 2017, there is a message for you. I saw the word written in the spirit and it read like freedom to answer prayer. When you have answers to prayer, you have answers to men who pray. All you need is a certain grace on your life whereby you have answers to prayer. How can you have the life which is of God and you're still bound to the superficial customs of this world, to the elements of this world, to the natures of this world? Yes, we have flesh and blood, but there's something special about us. Definitely there's something special about us. Adopt new ideals. Get a new attitude. Putting on the new man, which has been renewed after the image and the likeness of him that created him. Oh, hallelujah. God could not allow that union of spirit with him if you are not glorified God is not united to a weak entity he's not united to a weak body he's not united to a weak individual his spirit Jesus said in his own very words he says and my glory I have given unto them anything Jesus can do you can do anything the atmosphere that walked on him he released it on your spirit. Can somebody take this? Understand who you are in God. Primary ministry of the gospel is to open what is unveiled. Manifest what is hidden in God. Because there is a primary law set and a principle by heaven and earth. And there are principles of availing yourself to receive. Listen, when the Bible says that the rest is not to the ship, neither the battle is strong, neither bread is made of skill. He says, but time and chance happens to them all. The word time there, the Hebrew word for time is experiences. They have experiences in the spirit. And then there's an opportunity of chance that meets the experience. And something explodes. Nothing in this world is an accident. We don't have chance in the gospel. We're not lucky. Everything happens on the principle of seed and harvest. There's a price for every man you see walking with God. There is nothing that activates the anointing of the Holy Spirit like faith. The words of faith are more powerful to God than tears of unbelief. You deaf spirit. Loose. Do you hear now? I'm hearing. Pain in the left hip. Lower left limb, abdominal pain for two months. And she is now healed of all the conditions written in that paper. I want you to run, don't walk. Run. That's okay. <laughs> Woman in black, touch your belly. I'm seeing like fibroids were growing in there. Be delivered right now. Thank you, Lord. Start walking. Somebody clap for Jesus. Somebody clap for Jesus. In the name of Jesus, start walking. Experiences are not limited. Take the limits of God. Let your faith loose. 